let's talk about a tool that's really changing the game for how teams handle Kubernetes deployments. It's called Argo CD. And the best way to think about it is, well, it's less like a hammer and more like a dedicated white-gloved butler for your cluster. So let's dive into what that actually means. So let me ask you something. Think about your current deployment pipeline. You run a script, you merge a pull request, you push a button, and then what? You kind of just cross your fingers and hope for the best, right? For so many of us, the moment that kubectl apply command finishes, the cluster just becomes this big question mark. Is it healthy? Did my change even take? You know, to really get why something like Argo CD is so powerful, we first have to talk about the old way of doing things, what's generally known as a push model. This is the classic setup you'll see with tools like Jenkins or GitLab CI that many of us have been using for years. And here is the absolute core of the whole idea. It really comes down to the direction of traffic. The old push model on the left has some tool that lives outside your cluster, literally forcing changes into it. The pull model on the right flips that script completely. An agent inside the cluster is the one that goes out and pulls the changes in. This simple reversal changes everything when it comes to security and reliability. Okay, so let's walk through that typical push pipeline. We've all seen this a million times. A developer commits their code. A CI server, maybe Jenkins, kicks in. It runs tests, builds a new container image, and updates a YAML file somewhere. And then, and this is the key part, the CI server itself runs kubectl apply to push that change into the cluster. And this is exactly where the headaches start. First off, it's a huge security risk. For Jenkins to push changes, you have to give it admin level credentials to your cluster. And those secrets are now living completely outside your cluster's secure boundary. Second, it's just messy. You end up having to install kubectl, helm, and all sorts of tools on your build servers. But honestly, the biggest problem is that black box we talked about. Once the CI tool pushes the change, it washes its hands of the situation, its job is done. It has no idea if your application is actually running, healthy, or completely on fire. And that brings us to the alternative, Argo CD's pull model. It's such an elegant solution because it solves all these problems just by reversing the flow. So we're gonna completely throw out the idea that some external force should be shoving changes into our cluster. And instead, we're going to empower an agent that lives inside the cluster to be in charge. This little agent actively pulls the configuration it needs rather than having it forced upon it. And that agent, as you've probably guessed, is Argo CD. It's a continuous delivery tool that's built from the ground up just for Kubernetes. It lives right inside your cluster and its entire purpose in life is to watch a Git repository and make absolutely sure that your live cluster is a perfect mirror of what's defined in that repo. This whole philosophy, by the way, is what we call GitOps. So let's get into the mechanics. How does this pull model actually work? Well, it all hinges on making one single thing, the undisputed ultimate authority for everything that happens in your cluster, Git. This right here, this is the central mantra. It's the golden rule of the GitOps world. The Git repository is the only source of truth. If a change isn't in Git, it does not belong in your cluster, period. Every single configuration, every version, every setting, it all lives in a repo where you can see it, review it, and track it. So how does Argo CD enforce this rule? It's constantly running this very simple three-step loop, 24-7. First, it looks at the desired state, what's in Git, and compares it to the actual state, what's live in the cluster. Second, if it spots any difference at all, it immediately flags that application as being out of sync. And third, it just fixes it. It automatically pulls the correct state from Git and applies it, snapping the cluster right back into line. Okay, but you know what's going to happen. It's inevitable. Some well-meaning engineer is going to bypass the whole process and use kube control to make a quick fix directly in the production cluster. What happens then? And this is my favorite part. It's a feature called self-healing. That little sync loop we just talked about, it catches that unauthorized manual change almost instantly. It sees the cluster has drifted away from the source of truth in Git, marks it as out of sync, and, here's the magic, it automatically overwrites that manual change, reverting the cluster back to exactly what's defined in the code. It enforces the law. Now this whole Git-driven self-healing workflow isn't just a cool technical trick. It delivers some seriously powerful and tangible benefits for any team running apps on Kubernetes. So what's in it for you? First, you get guaranteed consistency. What you see in Git is what you have in production, always. 
you get a huge security win because cluster credentials never ever leave the cluster. Rollbacks? They become ridiculously easy. It's literally just a Git revert. And disaster recovery gets way simpler. You can just point a brand new cluster at your Git repo and watch it rebuild itself. It may be the best part of all. You get a perfect, complete audit trail of every single change ever made to your cluster because every change is just a Git commit. Okay, so our really common question at this point is, does this mean I have to get rid of my existing CI tools? And the answer is absolutely not. But their job does change a little bit. Let's be really clear about this. Argo CD is not here to make Jenkins obsolete. Not at all. What it does is create a much cleaner, much healthier separation of concerns. So here's the new division of labor. Your CI tools like Jenkins or GitLab, they're still in charge of continuous integration. They test the code, they build the Docker images, they push to a registry. But their final job is no longer to kubectl apply. Instead, their last step is simply to make a commit to a Git repo, usually just updating an image tag. And that's where Argo CD takes over. Its job is purely continuous delivery. All it does is watch that repo and sync any changes to the cluster. Clean and simple. And with that simple change, we come full circle. The Kubernetes cluster is no longer this opaque, mysterious black box that you throw changes at and hope for the best. It becomes a transparent, predictable, self-healing system that is always a perfect, crystal clear reflection of the code you've written in Git. So the final question really isn't about a specific tool. It's more about a shift in how your team thinks and operates. It's about moving from just deploying applications to truly managing your entire infrastructure as code with all the safety, visibility, and collaboration that comes with it. Are you ready for that? Let's talk about Argo CD and a really fundamental shift in how we think about deploying to Kubernetes. We're gonna look at this move from a push model to a pull model. And trust me, understanding this difference is a total game changer for building modern, reliable infrastructure. So think about your last deployment for a second. The pipeline goes green, everything looks good, but then what? Do you really know exactly what's happening inside your Kubernetes cluster at that moment? For a lot of teams, the second you hit deploy, that cluster just becomes a black box. You're just kind of hoping for the best because you've pretty much lost all direct visibility. You know, that feeling of uncertainty? It all boils down to the way we approach things. On one side, you've got the classic push model, where some external system is literally forcing changes onto your cluster. And on the other side, you've got the pull model, where an agent inside your cluster is actively pulling down the state it's supposed to have. This is the core idea we're gonna unpack. So let's start by digging into the way things have been done for years, this push model. And you'll see why I say our CI tools are often deploying completely blind. This flow probably looks super familiar to a lot of you. You know, your CI tool, say Jenkins, builds your code, pushes a shiny new container image, then it tweaks the Kubernetes manifest file, and here's the crucial part, it uses a command like kubectl apply to directly push that change right into the cluster. And this simple process, well, it creates some major headaches. First, you've got huge security risks, right? You have to store your cluster's credentials somewhere outside the cluster, which is not great. The configuration effort just explodes as you add more projects, but the real kicker is this. Once your CI tool runs that kubectl command, it's done. It's totally blind. It has no clue if your app is actually healthy, running, or stuck in a crash loop forever. Okay, so that's the problem. And this is where Argo CD comes in. It offers a much, much smarter way to keep your cluster in sync by basically flipping this entire model on its head. So get this. Instead of having some external tool from the outside trying to push changes into your cluster, you have an agent, Argo CD, that lives inside the cluster and it's constantly pulling the desired state from a Git repository. It's such a simple change in direction, but wow, the implications are absolutely profound. So what is Argo CD really? Well, you can think of it as a declarative GitOps CD tool made for Kubernetes. The key is that it lives inside your cluster and its entire job, its whole reason for being, is to watch a Git repo and make absolutely sure that your live application state perfectly matches whatever is defined in that repo. Now, this whole approach is built on one single powerful principle of GitOps, making your Git repository the one and only source of truth. This is the big idea right here. With this model, you can be 100% certain that what you see in Git is exactly what is running in your cluster. There's no more drift, no more mysteries, and no more, well, it works on my machine excuses. Git becomes your reality. 
So how does it do this? Well, the magic is in this continuous loop. Argo CD is constantly comparing the desired state in Git with the actual state in your live cluster. The second it spots a difference, it flags the app as out of sync, and then it immediately gets to work, pulling the correct configuration from Git to make the cluster match again. Okay, but this brings up a really good question, right? What happens in the real world when a developer, maybe in a hurry, just uses KubeQball to make a quick, manual change directly to the cluster, completely bypassing Git? This is maybe one of Argo CD's greatest superpowers. It sees that manual change as a deviation, as a divergence from the source of truth in Git. It basically considers it damage that needs to be repaired. So it automatically reverts the change, healing the cluster back to the state defined in your repository. It's relentless in making sure Git is the only source of truth. So let's talk about the payoff. What are the real world benefits you get from adopting this GitOps poll-based model? Let's break down why this all matters so much. The benefits here are massive. Need to roll back a bad deployment? It's a breeze. You just revert a commit in Git. That's it. Security is way better because your cluster credentials never ever have to leave the cluster. Disaster recovery? It becomes almost trivial. Just spin up a new cluster and point it at your Git repo. You get a perfect audit trail because every single change is a logged Git commit. And you can manage permissions by just managing Git access, not a bunch of complex cluster roles. Now, this new model doesn't mean you throw out your CI tools. Not at all. It just redefines their job, and in doing so, creates this really clean and powerful separation between continuous integration and continuous delivery. The roles just become crystal clear. Your CI tools, like Jenkins, get to focus on what they're great at, building code, running tests, and pushing a container image. Their final job is to just update a config file in Git. And that's it. They hand off the baton. From there, Argo CD takes over. Its only job is to watch that repo, keep the cluster in sync, and report back on the application's health. So I'll just leave you with this final thought. If you can't look at a Git repository and know with 100% certainty that it reflects the exact state of your cluster, do you truly know what's running in production? Argo CD is all about giving you that certainty. Thanks for tuning in.